Hey everyone, I'm Keely from Personal Transformations. Uh, we're going to go through a Pilates class tonight. We are going to be focusing on bum, legs and thighs. So it's going to be quite intense for this lower part of your body, but I hope you all enjoy. Okay. So we're going to start today by coming back into a nice big child stretch. Just letting the head come down towards the mat and just integrating your breath now. Just Seeing where it's at today, we can get really sidetracked with the busyness of our day and we can sometimes start to shallow breathe or our mind starts racing. So just connecting with that. Don't judge it, just, just be aware of it. That's part of what Pilates teaches. And when you're ready, you're just going to walk the fingertips off to one side, keeping the bottom press towards the heels, and stretch it out so we really get stretched through that side of the body. And inhale, let's walk it across to the other side. back into the center, making sure the hands are directly in line with your shoulders. We're going to inhale, bring ourselves up into tabletop position. So when we're in tabletop, we want to make sure our knees are directly under our hips, hands are directly under our shoulders, and our belly is scooped in nice and tight. And then when you're ready, we're going to just dip through that lower back, tilt the chin to the sky, and then curl it all back in. So we're just going to create a bit of a wave-like movement here. So we'll start to bring it back to the heels and then stretch. So we're just making it a bit more dynamic, waking up all the areas of the body. One more. And then resetting back to neutral. We're going to get in line with our hip. And we're going to open the right arm towards the sky, keeping the hips facing down. And then inhale, sweep the arm through. See if you can keep your hips facing the floor. Then inhale, sweep the arm back up. Exhale, sweep it through. We're going to do one more round. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, sweep it through. And then land the hand down. Keeping the leg behind you, we're going to lift that leg up off the ground, making sure that the shin is pressing into the mat. So you're really pressing that shin and foot into the mat. Hands are nice and just pressed into the floor, shoulders off the ears, belly tight. We're going to lift that leg up off the ground. Good. So checking your alignment, we're going to lower the toes, touch the ground, and then inhale, bring the leg back up. Keep it going for one. Two, really tightening up that core. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, where you are, bend the knee, point the toe to the sky, and extend from the knee for one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we're going to take that leg. So we're actually going to bring it around slightly. Don't tilt the hips. Keep the hips exactly where they are. Bring the foot as far as your flexibility will allow, and then extend it to the side. No movement of the hip. It's all from the ball and socket. So keeping the belly tight for two, three. This one really gets that hip to open. Four. Five, six, seven, 
Eight, nine, keeping it very tight, one more. 10. Now keeping with the rhythm of that side movement, we're gonna open the leg out to the side. So like a puppy on a hydrant, that's my name for it. We're gonna open it up, go one, two. Again, making sure we don't tilt, we wanna keep our hips to the center, belly tight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10, and then bringing that leg down. We're gonna change it over. So getting ready, sliding that other leg out. We're gonna open the arm up, reach and come through. Opening the arm, reach it through. Two more, keep that going. Good work, last one. And then bringing that hand back down, keeping the leg extended, chest straight up. We're going to take that leg up and down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bending the knee, keeping the thigh parallel to the floor. We're going to press the toe to the roof for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now extending it out, we're going to take it around and then across. Like before, keep the hips steady for one, two, belly tight, three, four, Five, nice and strong. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good, now we're gonna do the puppy on a hydrant. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one. 10, good, bring the legs down. A little stretch here, awesome work. And then inhale, coming back up. We're gonna do another round. So we're really gonna get those legs pumping. But this time we're gonna bring it down onto the forearms. So giving the wrists a break. We're gonna push the front of that shin to the mat. We're gonna inhale, bring the leg up, point the toes, tap the knee back down for one. Two, keeping the core tight. See how you can go a little deeper now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, holding it up. Let's point the toe and press it to the roof for one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we're going to take it out long across and open it up. See if you can keep it nice and tight through that belly for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good, and then we're going to open it up to the puppy. So we're going to open that knee out for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good. Okay, we're going to set it up and we're going to do that again on the other side. So bringing that knee up, press it to the sky for one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold the five parallels to the floor, pressing the toe to the roof for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, as high as you can go, eight, nine, ten. Awesome. Straightening out the leg. 
taking that leg around and then out to the side, keeping the hips very steady for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. And then opening it up for puppy on a hybrid. So here we go. Knee opens up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good, coming back for a stretch. Your bottom should be getting very warm. Okay, we're going to do one more round of all of that, so really getting those glutes fired up. So you can choose now a pass choice, whether you want to do it on the hands, or you think that you're getting a little bit more out of being on the forearms. So you decide, we're going to work here. So starting, press that bottom shin down, and let's press it up together for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold that five parallel. Press the toe to the sky for little pulses for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and then we're going to straighten that leg out, take it across, and open it to the side, keeping the hips facing forward for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10, good, then opening it up for puppy on a hydrant, so bending that knee for one, two, three, Four, squeeze that belly every time you open that knee. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring that leg down. You're going to change it over. So extending the other leg now. Press that foot up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, nice and strong. Holding that leg up, five parallel to the floor. Let's poke to the sky for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, straighten the leg out. Take it around and out for one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, keeping that belly tight. Eight, nine, this really gets the, the butt burning. And then we're going to take it to the side for puppy on a hydrant. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, ten. Good. Come back into a little stretch. Whew. I think everyone's buns are getting a bit warm. So what we're going to do now is we're going to work a little bit more laterally to the side of our glutes. So we're going to lie on the side. We're going to extend ourselves down so we get comfortable here. Making sure our hips are on top of each other. You can rest your head in your hand or you can just have your arm down. Either way is fine. We're going to bend that bottom knee. So make sure we've got a little bit of an anchor that we're not rocking. Fingertips can be used here like so, so that you're not rolling into that rib cage, okay? We really want to keep our ribs nice and long. Hips step on top of each other. And we're going to start by just bringing that leg up parallel to our hip. So up and down for one. We're going to do 20 of these. Two. So this works the oblique sling as well, which is that muscle that comes around that rib cage. Five. Six. So really contract that belly button in. Eight. Nine. 10, we another 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now holding it up high, we're just going to do little pulses. So little circles for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now we're going to change direction. See if you can keep that belly nice and tight for one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're gonna come into what we call bicycle leg. So the leg comes out, press the foot around, circle it in, keep it going for two, three, you're going to reduce the rocking of the pelvis by keeping your arms tight. Four, you should be really feeling those glutes now, guys. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, good, ten. We're going to do another five together. Let's go. One, two, three, who runs a bike with one leg, huh? Four. Last one, five, good. We're gonna extend the leg out nice and straight from the hip, so as straight as it will go. Flex the foot, and then we're gonna tap the inner part of the foot, and then bring it back up as high as it will go to the hip. For two, keeping the belly tight, hips on top of each other. Three, four, this one you should feel right down the back of the leg. Five, six, seven, eight, Two more of these because they're very painful. One more. Good. And then we're going to roll that leg, keeping the hips in the neutral position. And we're going to pulse the foot behind us like a little flipper. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. And then we're going to do one that's called the hot potato. And you'll find out why in a moment. So we're going to point the heel to the roof, so it's a rotation of the pelvis, and the toes will point to the floor. Okay, we're going to hit the floor with our toe, and then push the heel back up on that angle. This one's an interesting one. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and then about four, you'll find out why. Six, seven, eight, keep that foot on a hard edge, nine, got five more here. This one burns, one, Two, three, four, and five. Good job. So you should have been feeling that right down the back of the leg. So we're going to bring our knees forward into clam three. So clam three looks like we're sitting on a chair. Our knees will be parallel to our hips, and our feet will be directly under our knees. So not behind us, but directly under our knees. And when we lift our knees, we have them parallel. So we don't tilt the, the foot to the sky, we don't tilt the foot down. So we lift like they're staying in a mirror image. So the lifting comes from the hip, not the knee or the ankle. So lifting up here nice and tall. One, two, so keep that tension in the glute. Three, you'll feel it, don't you worry. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, one more of these, ten. Now we're going to keep the thighs apart, so lifting up parallel, holding here, and then just extend the leg straight and then bring it back to bend. So extension, bend for two, three, this one's interesting as well, four, five, six, awesome guys, seven, eight. Those butts should be getting warm. Nine, last one here. Ten, good, bring it down. Oof, let me get some blood flow back into that area. We're gonna flip over, and we're gonna do the other side. So rolling over. All right, so we're gonna reset on the other side, bending that bottom knee, scooping in that belly, and making sure our hips are stacked on top of each other. All right, so getting into a comfortable position, we're gonna take that leg up, and then back down. So keeping this our belly tight so that we can really work our abs as well. So four, five, and it's important not to just fling your leg, okay? We want control. That's what Pilates is about, control and awareness. Seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now holding that leg up, we're gonna just do little circles for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, now change direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to extend the leg into bicycle leg. So we come around for one, two, keep that knee at hip height, three, and don't let the pelvis rock. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, we've got five more to go, one, two, this one gets a bit warm, bit quick, three, four, good, last one here, five, good, now we're going to extend that leg out in front, and we're just going to go up and down, so one, two, Keep the pelvis neutral. Three, keep drawing that belly in. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then we can bring it around like a little flipper, keeping the pelvis in that neutral's position, and we're just going to pulse it behind us for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Now we're going to come back to neutral position in the middle, that hot potato. Okay, so turn the heel up, the toes down, tap the toes to the ground and press the heel up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10. Good, lowering it down. We're going to bring the knees now to clam three, so like we're sitting on that chair. Knees stacked in the hip, one of the hips, feet under the knees. And then when you're ready, we're going to lift those knees apart so they stay like a mirror image, then bring them back down. If we can get our breath involved, even better, for three, four, five, six, looking good guys, seven, eight, so with control, nine, one more. Now we're going to hold those knees apart and extend it out and then bring it back in. So not like a ninja kick, but a nice slow extension and then bring it in for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one. 10, good, lowering it down. Ooh, I don't know if this actually helps, but it feels kind of good. Okay, so what we're here, we're gonna turn over onto our backs. So lying onto our back, if that's there for you today. And we're gonna make sure that we're just gonna do some hip bridges. So when we set up for a bridge, we have our heels close to our hips, and we make sure that our shoulders and arms are pressing into the floor, so we're not just kind of being here loose. Our belly is nice and tight, so we draw our belly by the wing and keep it nice and tight. So when we lift up, we lead with our tailbone, pull it up nice and tall, so we don't arch into that lower back. We don't want to do that. We want to keep our hips and pelvis high, and then exhale, keeping the pelvis neutral, we lower back down. Okay, so let's set up that position, keeping the chin in a neutral position as well. We don't want to strain our neck. And when we're ready, we're going to lift up, inhale, squeeze it up, then lowering back down for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to do another ten. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, lowering down. So the modification for that, if you're not quite able to do them today, is a squat. So you can always come into a standing squat position. It moves the pelvis in a very similar way. It's just that there's no load bearing on that lower back. So that is an option for you today. 
Okay, for those of you that are standing on the floor, we're gonna inhale, lift the hips, and we're gonna take one leg up off the ground if that's there. If it's not, you can always keep the toes to the floor. We're gonna do a single leg bridge. So working with what you're ready for today, same motion, lifting the hips, you can take that foot up, and we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more on this side, and then we're gonna bring it down, change it over. So listening to your body, lifting up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Good, lowering the hips down. We're going to take it to a wider version of the bridge now. So toes pointing out, make sure the heels are still close to your hips, knees point out over your toes. You can always make this into a wide legged squat if you want to, or you can just do normal squats depending on your knees and your pelvic alignment. Otherwise, work in here, inhale, lift up, squeeze, keeping the spine neutral, and down. Here we go, for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so you'll feel this a lot more to the edge of the glute, nine, ten more, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten, coming down, we're going to bring that feet back into the middle and we're actually going to cross the ankles. So we're going to cross them at the ankles, squeeze the knees together. So this is for the inner thighs. Okay, there's not really a standing variation this, so you may just want to do a squat or maybe a closer leg squat. So we're going to lift up, keeping our thighs tight, squeeze the thighs and lift into your bridge. We're going to do 10 on each way. So we'll cross the ankles one way, then cross them the other way. So lifting up for one, two, squeeze those thighs, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good. Taking it to the other side. Hopefully you're feeling those inner thighs. Squeeze this side together and then lift for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, oh yeah, nine, one more, ten, good, lowering down. We're going to bring the feet back to neutral and line with our hips, and this time we're going to do one for the hamstrings. So we're going to inhale, lift our hips off the ground, and we're going to walk our feet out long. So as far as we can manage, then walk it back in. Okay, so we're keeping the hips high, keep the toes up, and we're going to walk it out. So we're going to go one, all the way as far as you can, and then walk it back and keep the hips high for two, three, you'll feel the hamstrings kicking pretty quickly here, four, five, we're going to get to ten, six, Seven, eight, nine, good, we're nearly there. Oh yeah, it burns. One more. And relax. Woo! All right, let's just do a quick twist. Stretch that out. Just drop the knee over to one side. Give it a quick twist. Twist it out to the other side. My back and then inhale, come back to center. So, we're going to turn back and do another side series. So, we're going to roll back over onto the side. We're going to really work those glutes today, okay? So, lying down, finding that comfortable position here for you. 
Make sure you've got that knee in front. This is a bit of stability. Stack the hips, scoop in that belly, and find a comfortable position for your head. And then we're going to start by lifting that leg up and down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You've got ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Holding it high. Create some circles for one, two, three, four. Keep the pelvis very still. Seven, eight, nine, and change direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now we're going to come straight into that bicycle leg. Push the foot to the front, cycle it around for one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Good. Then we're going to hold that leg out in front of us, nice and tall, taking it up and down for one, two. Keep the belly on tight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, driving it back like a little flipper and pulse it back, locking to the knee for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to bring it back to center and neutral. Turn the toes down, push the heel up, and we're going to do our hot potato for one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Oh yeah. Alright, let's bring those knees forward. So we're sitting in our clam three. Make sure you can see those toes, hips on top, and then we're gonna open those thighs up parallel for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Holding the legs parallel, lifting them up, push the foot straight, then come back to middle for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, ten. Oh yeah, the burn is real. It's kind of like a really terrible cramp. All right, let's roll over and do the other side. All right, so setting up on the other side. Okay, make sure we've got that front knee. All right, so extend that leg out long, lifting up. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten more, see if you can really work those abs into it. For two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Holding that leg up, make sure your hips are neutral. Little circles for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change direction. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. We're going to bring the legs straight into bicycle legs. So one, two, keep the hips nice and neutral. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10, good. Let's bring that leg forward, so straighten the line of the hip, taking it up and down for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And then we're gonna take it behind us, 
and pulse it behind for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're gonna bring it back into neutral, turn the heel up, point the toes down, it's your hot potato for one, two, three, four, five, push that heel up, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Good job. Let's bring those knees forward now to plan three. All right, so sitting up your alignment points and then inhale, lifting up that leg for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we're keeping them parallel, eight, nine, one more, and then holding them apart, we're gonna push that foot away, and then back in for one, two, three, four, five, six, oh yeah, it burns, seven, eight, nine, last one, 10, good, bring it down, oh yeah. All right, so let's roll onto our back. We're gonna do another round of bridges. So you might wanna turn it into squats if you're not able to lie flat on your back. So setting up, make sure our feet are neutral so we can almost graze our heels with our fingers. Push the arms into the mat, chin to chest, and then when you're ready, press into those heels, lift from your tailbone. One, two, keeping the belly drawn in tight. Three, careful not to arch your back. Four, and don't let the knees bog in. Really fight that temptation. Seven, eight, nine, ten more here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more. 10, good, lower it down. We're gonna take it to single leg variation. So here we go. One, if you're capable of doing a single leg squat, you can do that, but they're hard, so you might just wanna continue with your normal squat. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, 10, good. If you're doing your singles, let's change it over. We can just keep your toes to the mat. So inhale, lift up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Good. Bringing that foot down, we're going to take our toes out wide as the mat. So this could look like a wide squat variation. Make sure your heels are still close to your body, shoulders down. Push the knees out, open the toes, squeeze up for one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna keep that arch out of the back. Really pull the tailbone up. Six, seven, eight. This is how we work those glutes. Nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Lowering down. We're gonna bring the feet back to neutral and then we're gonna cross the ankles and squeeze the knees together. Okay, there's no standing variation for this one, so this one may just have to be squats. So inhale, lifting up, squeeze those knees, keep them tight for one, two, really work those inner thighs, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Oh yeah. All right, changing it to the other side. Squeeze them together. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. 10, good, lower them down. So we're gonna take the feet apart, we're gonna walk the heels out. So this is a hamstring extension. So we lift up, we walk the heels out, and then we walk them back in. Toes off the ground for one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nearly there, nine, one more, oh yeah, ten, we're lowering it down, take it back into a twist, enjoy that stretch for your back, so we're finishing up now, nice time to stretch, And if you haven't changed sides, make sure you stretch out on the other side, so twist to the other side. And then inhale, come back to centre. So just reaching up, so we'll grab the back of the shin on one of the legs, straighten it out over the hips and just give it a gentle stretch. So you can just let the weight of the arms pull the leg towards you and you should feel that right in the back of that leg when we work today. So another way to stretch the hamstring is to do it sitting. You can have the leg in the same position and you just reach for the toes instead. And then before we pop that foot down, we're gonna bring the foot across the knee, like so in figure four, then bring the leg up off the ground and pull that knee towards you so you get that glute stretch on the other side. In a seated position, this could look more like a twist. So you bring the knee over, and just come into a gentle twist. So whichever one works better for you. And then exhale, releasing that down. We're going to take it to the other side. So lifting the other leg up over the hip, pulling the leg gently towards you. Exhale, bringing the knee over the other, the other, the foot over the other knee, rather, and then pulling the, the leg towards you. And then releasing that when you're ready. Just come up into a seated position. And then just shaking out whatever, whatever's left any tension in the body. You might want to do some last stretches for your legs. There was a lot of legs in there today. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the class and then I'll see you all again very soon.